Hello class, for the remainder of the semester, as much as possible, I'm going to try to have one video per week uh, as opposed to two. Uh, so this will be the only video for week nine of the semester, and a lot of your focus is going to be around the discourse community, revising the discourse community. Uh, later on this week, in week nine, Monday or Tuesday, uh, most of you will receive your feedback for the first draft of the discourse community essay. So it is extremely important that you follow that feedback, but you are also gonna get a chance to look at some of your compatriots papers as well. Uh, so let's get into the rundown for the week. So there is no textbook or any other public readings this week as I want you to focus on student examples and peer reviews for this week. Uh, for the discussion board, make sure you have posted your own discourse community analysis and then review a classmate's paper before Thursday. As a reminder, there is no journal entry this week, just as there was last week. There's no journal entry in week nine either. Uh, you are not completing a revision plan for this week. So you did a revision plan for the literacy narrative, but I'm not having you complete one for this week. Uh, part of the reason is there may be a delay in the grading of your essays. Um, part of the reason is I want to make sure you are close reading the student examples. So there's a couple reasons as to why you are not doing a revision plan for your discourse community essays. Um, all first drafts should be returned by Thursday night. Um, you may not get them earlier. So the discussion board for week nine of this week, as far as part one goes. So in the ninth discussion of the semester, you will reflect and respond to two of your fellow classmates discourse community essays. This will be exactly the same as the literacy narrative. Again, simply posting your own essay does not give you any credit for the assignment. All you are doing is copying and pasting the draft from Microsoft Word into the discussion board for the week. However, you must provide two responses. Quality in this case is crucial as you want to identify what the author has done well and what they need to work on. I provided the rubric as an attachment under this week, and there is also a handout for you as well to help you. Here are some questions to get your mind writing as you are reading. Does the author have an introduction that summarizes what a discourse community is in their own words, and then a paragraph describing their own? Again, make sure you have two introductory paragraphs. Does the author have a methodology section where they describe who they interviewed and, who, and or surveyed and what important questions they want answered? Does the author describe some of the lexies and the genres that form the discourse community? Is the main focus of the essay on how language is used within this community? Again, make sure the focus is on how language is used within your discourse community, do not focus any of your paragraphs around people you have interviewed. That is not what the purpose of this assignment is. What has the author done well throughout the essay? What does the author need to improve upon? You may also point out any instances of the second person and any awkward sentences as you go through this assignment. So you need to make sure that you post the first draft of this, of your essay, the essay that you turned into me. You don't need to make any changes. Just post the first draft as is by Tuesday, March the 16th at 10 p.m. This means you should copy and paste the first draft in the discussion board as soon as you are done sending it to me. Um, I will be sending an email late Tuesday night with the list of students and who they are being asked to review. I will be assigning which students uh, this, again, will ensure that everyone has their draft read at least twice. Just like last time, your two response posts will be due by Thursday, March the 18th at 10 p.m., because I want to maximize the amount of time that people have to use your feedback as well as my feedback. Okay, so it is a quick turnaround, just like the literacy narrative, but I'm trying to maintain a consistent schedule with these peer reviews. For the one pager this week, your sixth one pager, you will need to read two things. First, read the handout identifying discourse communities. 
Then read the second student example about a student who visited a nail salon. For your one pager, explain how the student example addresses at least some of the questions listed in the first reading. Do not try to them all, do not try to address them all, but hone in on a couple of the key questions and develop them into a true two to three paragraph mini essay. Do not concern yourself with an introduction or conclusion, but address how this student justifies her space as an example of a discourse community. This will also help you consider your own essay as you prepare to complete the final draft. For the one pager, I'm asking you to consider and write in response to three questions from the handout. Please post this assignment. It is due by Sunday, March the 21st at 10 p.m. So once again, there is no journal entry, but you do have things that are due on Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday of this week. Okay, now what I want to do now is to draw your attention to this particular handout that you see in front of you. This is called Identifying Discourse Communities, okay? Now we've talked about John Swales' article, The Concept of Discourse Community, and the six characteristics. Okay, you have gone through these characteristics. We have talked about them multiple times, but these are some of the ways that you might specifically think about each aspect, okay? So under, you will see a number, and then you will see a couple of questions that are asked. Okay, as you are starting to prepare your final drafts, maybe you look at some of these questions on your own and you think about how to answer them in your essay. Okay, you don't necessarily need to try to answer all of these questions. Okay, but you want to do your best to answer as many of them as possible. Okay, for those students who are still having difficulty with some of the key terms. Okay, we know what a discourse is. We've talked about what a discourse is. We've talked about genre, we've talked about lexies. These are the specific quotes and the definition of these particular words. Okay, I find that this handout is very helpful as you are preparing a final draft. The reason that I did not want to give this to you earlier is there's a lot of information that's being given to you, but now that you are coming to the end and hopefully you do have a full understanding of what a discourse community is, this handout can be very specific and very helpful. Okay, so that is a rundown for this week. If you have any questions, please make sure you email me. And again, you need to do your best to follow directions. This is something that I emailed to all of you uh, last week, but you need to do a better job of following the directions and turning in your assignments. Okay, thank you very much. Have a good week.